Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Back in Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. We are here with Tidal Root Farming, Tidal Root Gardening. They are doing their awesome backyard garden project. Of course, it's an actual professional farm, but it, it looks very much like a backyard garden because of the setting. But it is very much professional and well done. So far, I'm loving everything I'm seeing. It's actually organic also. So that's one thing that we're going to encourage in this video is to show you what organic farming can do, how vibrant it can be, and that you do not have to go full chemical or synthetic but you can actually do your farming and have one of the best crops by practicing organic farming of course i'm going to give you a short introduction and the best person to give that introduction of course in regards to the farm when it was established and the aim of the farm is actually the owner sam right there who is actually doing some harvesting so let's get a closer look and let's have a conversation with her in regards to tidal root farming okay thank you so very much let's go ahead okay guys of course so here we are with sam the, the owner and I'm quite sure they establish all this awesome organic farm and um, so she's just gonna introduce herself and tell us a bit of tidal root farming is that correct yeah uh, tidal roots farm tidal roots farm okay thank you so very much Sam <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourself to us Hi. I'm Sam Brown and um, I started this farm in 2018 I guess right before Hurricane Irma in 2017 I started to clear the land and get things going and then Irma came and took out all the trees and cleared it for me pretty much. So wow. as soon as machinery and you know things were back up in 2018 I started going again and um, it felt more important than ever to farm after having such a poor food security and the importation of everything was really complicated here so growing local was like crucial and uh, super motivated and so yeah, now we're in 2021, it's been three years. And it's been a lot. In that time, I've had a baby in recent years. So um, when I first started, I was the only employee and I oh. ran this on my own. Wow. Um, and then I got pregnant and obviously that was not as easy to do. So I hired some help. Um, I have Thorne who is the farm that runs the farm like with all the growing and um, then I have my friend Sayula who comes and does a lot of harvesting okay. and orders for me so okay. yeah we grow organic vegetables for farmers markets for our CSA program we have 35 members that pick up on a weekly basis mm. and uh, then when there is tourism we do supply to people who are traveling private islands mega yachts that kind of stuff so basically what Sam have given us or told us is that in 2017 we got yeah. in the challenge of Irma, we have challenge of Maria of course right. in Dominica yep. um, and same thing with Dominica we saw the importance of practicing farming a backyard garden or having that opportunity to grow your own food because when it comes down to it when the other ships don't come in you have to produce your own food yeah. and I'm quite sure it actually motivated you even more yeah. to to take on this idea let's say you decide to start it for your own family or friends but after oh man quite sure it motivated you and it and you got a greater demand also for the food and um, yeah. the organic food from the people here in this beautiful island um, so of course we are seeing you have some very organic um plants fruits and vegetables here um you say you supply to how many persons 35 35 so they they expect a package weekly monthly every monday Every Monday. Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. So 40, that, that's good. That means there are at least 35 families yeah. who are basically practicing and eating very organic fruits and vegetables. And of course, I'm quite sure they encourage others to also take part in this whole adventure of purchasing fruit from you. Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah. I can see that you have <laughs> some harvesting done already. Yeah. Um, so those are eggplants, correct? Yep. Okay, so these are they, they have a scientific name. Oh, Aubergine. Oh, Aubergine. Aubergine, right? Yeah. Aubergine, basically, these are aubergine. Yeah. And she's been harvesting for the morning, very cool, breezy morning. And then you see all the other things she has to offer. Let's just talk for a moment about the type of layout you've got here. Sure. I can see here you have some fruits, well, not fruits, but leafy vegetables here. Yeah. You have some root, deep plants here, like the eggplant. Is that pepper? Peppers, yeah. Peppers. So, do you rotate? Yeah, um, everything is rotated. Oh, okay, great, great. So, and I can see over there you've got some, I will take a film of it. Um, bok chow. 
bok choy, tat soy, different Asian greens. Oh, nice. Yeah. And you've got peas growing among it. I guess that's for the nitrogen. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. It's good, good for planting together. Yes, that's very much true. So we're just going to go ahead because she has to film for the market tomorrow. I'm sorry, she had to harvest for the market tomorrow. So we don't want it to be too hot yeah. <laughs> before she's done. So let's just go ahead and have or well, witness what she's going to harvest. Guys, here we are. Actually, this is the nursery um, for Tidalwood Farm. They've got some very awesome looking organically grown seedling. I'm going to give you an overview in a moment, but I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing. They've got here, they've got seasoning pepper. I'm seeing some seasoning pepper right here. Um, of course, I'm seeing some sweet peppers also, some bok chow. I'm seeing actually palm trees, or um, yes, yeah, palm trees palm seedlings actually I'm seeing some there and um, they have a host of variety of lettuce of course right here they've got one type of lettuce two types of this one is bok chow I believe so I'm just gonna give you a view of the, the nursery I um, want to encourage you of course if you can build a small nursery in your backyard garden that'll be cool that'll be awesome because you can have the net so if ever there is some sort of pest invasion you can do your backyard garden in your nursery for the time being but it's, it's a very sturdy looking nursery very cool in here um this this is somewhere you want to almost pitch a hammock and just sleep in here it's very cool very breezy not windy but breezy of course the net um i'm not quite sure if you can see it but the net contributes a lot to the temperature and the wind in here um so just want to encourage you if you can please build a nursery okay let me just give you a nice view of what they've got planted okay guys so here this one this looks like lettuce sorry they do not have the actual name on it but this looks like lettuce this for sure is bok chow this one right here and um, this is cabbage either it's cabbage or some sort of plant which is related to cabbage i'm not quite sure either cabbage or cauliflower one or the other these ones they, the leaves are very tall or very long, so they might be cauliflower. Um, of course, more lettuce right here, more matyo or bigger bak chow, more bak chow. Um, I'm seeing that they may have a bit of a slug problem, because you can see. So I will confirm, but I think the slugs are having their way at it. Um, and of course, the very healthy looking seasoning pepper this looks like seasoning pepper yes i believe so these are seasoning peppers and these look like sweet peppers these ones right here and seasoning peppers at the back there and of course this is a very unique plant i'm not quite sure what it is perhaps you guys in the comment section tell me what do you think this one is this this is some type of lettuce but it's very new to me never saw it before and of course i'm seeing some pomegranate seedlings these are the pomegranate, well, not this one, this one. Let me just see if I could get a one fruit by itself. Okay, so here you go, pomegranate. Yes, these are the seedlings for the pomegranate. Just gonna put this back. And we're seeing a thyme, here's a thyme growing out from a small pot right here. And here are the palm trees I was telling you about. Uh, wow, looks very much healthy and nice. And they're quite, I wouldn't say quite expensive, but if you've got the ability to have some palm trees, these are a very good investment and very good ways to, you know, generate some funds for your backyard garden. If the competition is setting it like 50, you could set like 20, just so that you could get some funds for your backyard garden. Just want to encourage you with that idea. And guys, right here we've got what looks like an awesome layout right there. 
So, of course, this is bok chow, very, very famous um, here. A lot of persons are growing the bok chow. Um, it's a very healthy plant and very easy plant to grow. Um, so far, it, it's not a plant that's very challenged in terms of um, the weather. It can take the sun and once it has consistent water and the soil is very moist, it will do pretty well for you. Um, but it's a very beautiful plant to have in your backyard garden. Very. So just want to encourage you, if you can, please try to grow out some bok chow. So that's it, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, of course, visiting Tidal Road Farm. And please be encouraged at the backyard garden in some ways to keep the doctors away and agro sweet is out. <laughs>